fashion industry is driven by innovation. There is always a pressure on a fashion designer to create something new. And because of this requirement, design students often think that they are not creative enough for this job. Today I am going to tell you the secret formula of world class designers who are able to generate new ideas constantly. This formula is called Art of Permutation. Now by permutation I mean the possibility of mixing different components together to create something new. Just like in Indian music there are only 7 basic notes and the permutations of these can create thousands of melodies. Similarly a fashion designer also has only 4 basic components and by combining these they can create thousands of new styles. Now these components are also called elements of design and if a design student understands these four, they can create infinite new styles throughout their life. In the first video, we are going to learn about the first element of design, color. In this chapter, we are going to learn about the elements of design. Any design in the world can be broken down into these five elements which is line, shape, form, texture and color. Elements of design serves as a foundation for the development and creation of all textiles and clothing product. Throughout history, artisans and designers have utilized the elements of design in a variety of ways to create a certain aesthetic. Across the discipline, the elements of design, line, space, shape, form, texture and color are used by every designer. The aim of this chapter is to understand elements of fashion design and develop design project. This is how visually elements of design will look like. You have line, then you have form, then you have color and you have texture. Now today we are going to discuss about color. When we talk of principles of designing or when we start off with a given design theme, the first thing to occur to our minds is the color and texture of the fabric. Every season or now and then a color emerges in a fashion scene which is decided by leading manufacturers and exporters and textile experts of the fashion world. This is called color in trend. While choosing a color, one must be utmost careful as color creates the first impression and hence can glorify or destroy one's appearance. Even simple silhouettes may be enhanced by using effective color schemes. Now we will talk about color wheel. We all know our famous physicist Sir Isaac Newton. So in mid 1600s he was working with a steam of white sunlight and he passed it through a prism and he saw the light dispersing into different colors. So all these colors they are put inside one circle and that is called the color wheel. Now all these colors are divided into primary colors. Now these colors are red, yellow and blue which cannot be created by mixing any other colors. So you can see in the triangle red, yellow and blue. Now secondary colors and tertiary colors are the ones which we get by mixing two primary color. So we have green which we get by mixing yellow and blue, violet or purple which we get by mixing blue and red, orange from mixing red and yellow. Designers use various schemes to create interest. So one of the schemes is called complementary. So these are the complementary colors are the colors which when combined or mixed cancel each other. They're also called opposite colors. 
so when placed next to each other they create the strongest contrast colors at emotional level colors can affect individuals physically psychologically and emotionally it can propel us into action motivate or soothe us however it can also repel us as we often make split second judgments based on colors so learning how to use color particularly in textiles is incredibly important now let's say effect of color red if you want to get somebody's attention red is your color the color red empowers and draws attention towards the wearer it also strongly associates with romance and passion making it a perfect date night color orange like red orange draws attention and energy but unlike intense red it is a little more soothing while orange is a difficult color for some skin tones to pull off if you have the coloring to work it orange will help put you in a positive energy mood yellow sunny shades of yellow are the perfect thing to cheer you up on a bad day so if you're feeling down wearing yellow could help perk you back up yellow is also associated with intelligence and aspiration so wearing something yellow on the day of your big final exam might help you come up with some extra answers green shades of green are calm and soothing as well as associated with nature and the outdoors blue is the color that can be both peaceful and calming as well as cold and standoffish if you are feeling really stressed out the color blue can help you feel more relaxed if you're sad however you might want to steer away purple regal and sophisticated purple is associated with creativity and luxury like red purple is a very stimulating color which can boost your energy level when you see it it's also a color that sometimes associate with spirituality and intuition so if you're having trouble making a decision paint your nails lavender and see what comes out to you pink of course we all know pink as the true girly girly favorite color but it is also associated with romance and happiness pink is very calming so don't wear if you need tons of energy white missing summer on a cold spring day wear white it reflects light and reminds us of sunnier days it also associate with peace innocence simplicity and cleanliness although in japan white carnations means death black if you're going for a promotion at work or interviewing for a new job you might want to wear black it signifies power seriousness authority and responsibility all qualities bosses like looking for colors are interpreted differently in different cultures so a designer needs to be aware about it for example yellow in north america and europe is associated with warmth summer and hospitality but in latin america on the contrary yellow is associated with death and mourning color palettes now color palette is the range of colors used in a visual medium in a picture or by an artist or fashion designer so these are group of color choices that you have made to create a collection there are three basic types of color palettes warm mixed and cool warm color of course uh, it has all the warm colors which are ranging from yellow to red then a cool color palette it encompasses of cool tones which are from red to blue mixed color palette which comprises of both cool and warm color tones a monochromatic color palette means a color palette where all the colors are some tones or shades of one color fashion designers use color palette to create the collections so before starting any season one of the most essential part of a design process is to focus on the right color palette a color palette is also one of the most important part of a mood board now let look at armani how monochromatic color palette he has a monochromatic blue color palette 
than Valentino, a monochromatic, earthy color palette. Bottega Veneta, this brand has a mixed color palette. Vionet has a mixed color palette. Now we are going to talk about color forecasting. Color is one of the most important part of fashion forecasting. So we are going to see all the color forecasted boards by WGS. Midnight Blue, Vivid Lilac, Carbon, Tobacco, Scarlet Alert, Attention Orange, Soft Sage, Brownstone, Spectra Yellow, Lavender Ash, Nuclear Yellow, Oriental Gold, Distilled White, Purple Grape, Rusted Gold, Soft Grey, Ultraviolet, Deep Sapphire, Saturated Brides, Shades of Red, Black and White, Winter White, Satin Shine, Lilac, White, Sweet Pestle, Sky Blue, Brights, Bold Color Combination, Saturated Bright, Bright Red, Bright Florals. So all these colors have been forecasted by WGSN and all the brands across the globe who are working with cosmetics, apparels, textiles, or any designer product, they look up to these colors and then they produce their own color palettes so that they also have a trendy color inside the color palette. Now, summary of the whole chapter is, color are an essential element of fashion design. Chromatic relation, we have our color wheel. Then we learned about impact and effect of colors on human beings. Then we learned about fashion designer tools, which are seasonal color palette, and then color trends and forecast. Hope this presentation added information to your fashion knowledge. I would request you to kindly subscribe to the channel for more educational videos on fashion and also press the bell icon for notification. Thank you.